Welcome to the Arduino tutorial on analog to digital conversion using Arduino. In this tutorial, we will learn about ADC that is analog to digital conversion, ADC pins in Arduino, ADC resolution, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, serial monitor and serial plotter. To follow this tutorial, you should have a basic knowledge of electronics and C or C++ programming language. To record this tutorial, I am using Arduino Uno board, Windows operating system and Arduino IDE. We require few external components such as DHT11 sensor, breadboard and jumper wire. These are the required components for our project, which includes Arduino Uno board, DHT11 sensor and breadboard. Let us have a close look for DHT11 sensor. We can read the pin out positive and negative terminal. In this tutorial, we will detect the temperature and humidity using DHT11 sensor. This sensor collects analog value and give it to the Arduino Uno. Arduino ADC pin will convert this analog value to digital value. Next we will understand the concept of resolution. Arduino Uno has 10 bit resolution. This means it can detect to the power of 10. That means 1024 discrete analog level. Resolution is the smallest change that can be measured. Arduino gives 5 volt output voltage. So 5 volt divided by 1024 level which will give 4.89 millivolts. That means Arduino Uno can be sensitive to a minimal change of 4.89 millivolt. This shows the circuit connection for DHT11 with Arduino. Arduino Uno has 6 inbuilt ADC channels A0 to A5. ADC channels read analog signal in the range of 0 to 5 volts. Pin 1 of the DHT11 sensor is connected to 5 volts pin of Arduino. Pin 2 of the DHT11 sensor is the data pin. This data pin of the sensor is connected to analog pin of A0 Arduino. Pin 3 of the DHT11 sensor is connected to the ground pin of the Arduino. This is the live setup of the connection as shown in the circuit diagram. This is circuit connection where sensor DHT11 is connected to Arduino board, the black color is connected to ground, the red is given to power supply and data pin of the sensor is given to A0 analog pin of the Arduino. Now we will write the program in Arduino IDE. Open Arduino IDE. First we need to download the DHT11 Arduino library to run this program. Click on the sketch menu in the menu bar. Select include library and then click on manage library option. A new window will appear. In the top right corner we can see a search tab. Here type DHT11 and press enter. We can see the various library for DHT11 sensor. Select and scroll to the bottom of the screen and select simple DHT by winlin. In the version drop down box we can select the latest version of the library. Click on install button to install the library. The DHT11 library is now installed in the Arduino IDE. Click on the close button at the right bottom of the window. Let us add this library to the program. Click on the sketch menu and select include library. Newly downloaded library usually appear in the end. So scroll down to the bottom of the list and select the simple DHT. We can see the header file simpledht.h added in the code window. Type the code as shown. Here we have initialized the data pin of DHT11 sensor which is connected to A0. This command creates a DHT object. Inside void setup function type the code as shown. Serial.begin function initiate the serial communication. It sets the data rate in bits per second for serial data transmission. 9600 represents the board rate. Delay 500 is the delay time for the sensor 
to boot. Serial.print command prints the header as specified here. Now we will write the code for void loop. We have created two variables temperature and humidity for DHT sensor output. DHT11.read reads the data from the sensor. It stores the result in microcontroller register. This line prints the temperature in degree Celsius and humidity in percentage. Delay 2000 update the current humidity and temperature readings every 2 seconds. Click on the compile button to verify your program. A pop-up window will appear to save the program. Save the program as DHT11. Now click on upload button to upload the current program on Arduino. We will see the output in the serial monitor screen. For this click on tool menu and select the serial monitor. The serial monitor window will open. Temperature and humidity of the current place is displayed as expected. Close the window. First of all we need to include the library. For that go to the sketch. Go to the include library. Manage library. It will open a new window. In a search bar write down the library name DHT11. Press enter. You will find the lots of library. Just download the simple DHT with the latest version. Click on install. So now the library has been installed. Now we will include the library in the code. For that go to the sketch. Go to the include library. In the last we will find simple DHT. So library has been included. Now type the code. Compile it. And then upload the code. Sensor will work and we can see the output in the monitor. So go to the serial, go to the serial monitor and we can see the output is on the display. Here the temperature is 33 and humidity is around 39. Next we will see the output in the serial plotter. Let us modify the program. Comment the line serial.print temperature and humidity as shown here. This will not print the text temperature and humidity or you can simply delete this line and it will do the same thing. For plotting we require only values of temperature and humidity. Let us upload the current program to see the result on serial plotter. Click on a tool menu and select the serial plotter. This serial plotter windows open. We can see two lines simultaneously plotting the points. The blue line indicates the temperature which is around 28 to 39 Celsius. The red line is humidity reading which is near to 45%. The reading is vary depending upon where the experiment is done. Now we cover the sensor with our hand and we will see the fluctuating reading. Close the wheel. Modify the code. We want to see the output in a graph plotter. For that we will make a simple change in a code. We will Deactivate the line serial.print temperature and humidity. So now again uh, compile and upload the code. Now check the output in a graph plotter. So serial plotter. And we can see that it will plot the output in terms of graph where the uncelsius temperature and humidity is in the percentage. So now we'll make fluctuation by Hiding the sensor with the hand. So we can see the fluctuation is in the graph. Now again I will remove my hand and will find the decrement into the graph. It is useful for humidity readings between 20 to 80 percent with the plus or minus 5 percent RH. That is relative humidity. It is useful for temperature reading between 0 to 15 and Celsius with plus or minus 2 and Celsius. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn about ADC that is analog to digital conversion, ADC pin in the Arduino, ADC resolution, DHT11, temperature and humidity sensor, serial monitor and serial plotter. As an assignment, rise and alarm by glowing the built-in LED pin 13 of the Arduino. Modify the above existing code. Hint, use if else statement. Add 1 or 2 on Celsius 
to the temperature value that you can get on the serial monitor. To increase the temperature reading, cover the DHT11 sensor with your hand. So now modify the code as per the assignment requirement. So we will assign built-in LED as output using the pin mode. We can see that. Now I will put the if-else condition to set an alarm for the temperature. So using the if condition, if the temperature is greater than or equal to 35, the built-in LED will be set to high. That means LED will be on. And if for the other condition, the LED will be low. That means LED will be off. So now this if-else condition will control the LED pin. Now compile and upload the code. We can check the temperature in the tool serial monitor. Temperature is 34. Now hide the sensor with my hand to increase the temperature. As the temperature increase more than 35, you can see the LED is blinking. Now I will take my hand and I will again let decrease the temperature and see the LED will go off. So here the temperature will decrease 35. Ah, so it is now 34, 34, 35 again. So it is on and off and now it will be stable to 34 and LED goes off. So this is how we can set alarm in the humidity and temperature sensor. Do you have any question in this Arduino tutorial? Please contact us through the given contact detail. Thank you.